Bro, she's three. She knows load shit. She's like, like she walks around. She's like, oh, it's load shit. <laughs> I'm like, obviously being in, in the position that you are. Those are one of your words, man. But anyway, we'll carry. <laughs> Nani Bafani, the boys are delicious. Wag one, what's going on? I'm your boy Dylan Wannenberg. I'm your boy Touche. In the building, yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a very exciting guest in the studio. I'm excited about this one because Massive one. some say uh, he's one of the best politicians in South Africa, if some, not the world. Some say he's a great singer. Some say he's a, <laughs> everyone's favorite uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Others say he's just a great father. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Musi Maimani. Ah. Welcome. Drink. I'm so glad. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm so glad I'm here. Thank you so much for having me. It's good. Thank fun. you for coming. Yeah. I'm really yeah. excited to have you. Um, I've liked you since I was young. This man hasn't mm. stopped speaking about you. I was oh, really excited man. to have you. Big love. I always Thank had you, one bro. guy who always said what he wanted to say, and I like that. No, I appreciate that. I appreciate that, and thank you. Uh, it's uh, it's been a, it's been an amazing journey, an amazing. Um, I feel privileged to have lived a life. Uh, that I've lived and been able to fight for this amazing country and to work with South Africans yeah. from all walks, you know, everywhere. Yeah. So big love. So I appreciate it. Yeah. So we have a game that you play. Oh, uh, dear. Under your water, there is a, a piece of paper you can pick uh -huh. it up. So you have three words during the podcast. Um, you have to use these words, right? Um, yes. It's a bonus word. Uh, there's two bonus words. And yeah, just try and use it throughout the podcast. And if um, there is a theme, what is the theme, Julian? Summer. Hey? summer. Oh, summer. So the theme is summer. And um, basically, if you think we, you know a word that gets it reused, you're a bad answer. <laughs> so basically, let's say his word is water. And throughout the podcast, he says, okay, can I have some water? I'm like, Dylan, is that your word? There's a wing. He would have to eat one of the wings. However, if I say his word is if he says something like sand, but it's not his word, and, and I've guessed it, I'm wrong. So then I would have to have a wing. You left to have a? A wing. So there's, there's chicken, oh, there's win, win, wing. win, win. Okay, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. So basically, it's you take the risk of guessing or not guessing. And if you guess correct, whoever had the word, they must eat it. If you guess wrong, it's for you. Right, yeah. right, right, Simple. right, right. Get and the man. theme is summer, so you can't the just theme is summer. you can't just like randomly be like the word is football, and then just like no. yeah. You must okay. So you in. must include your words in your conversation without us knowing. Mm. Oh, cool! See how good you are. Oh man, man. <laughs> you guys are going down. <laughs> oh, so far, man. we've been bad at this game. No one's got all the words right. Oh really? Yeah. Mm. Season season one, I think nobody ever got all three right. No. And yeah, so now season two starting with episode one. Ah, oh, come on, man. It's on now. It's on but now. On that, with the start of season two, uh, episode one, we're going to get straight into it. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll see, I've had a look. At so, so I'm going to gamble, right? Snap, okay. You've used the word season a couple of times. No way. No. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. No way. Is it I? Bring the wings. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's up? No. I'm not you down. Season's not on. As I said, oh. bring it. Oh, you. bring the wings. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. okay, we, okay, okay. Wings okay. Yeah, we can have later. Okay, yeah. okay, that was just a practice. <laughs> <laughs> but what wings? What wings the are there? He's on it. <laughs> Do you want to have a look at them? It's made by a personal chef at home. <laughs> yeah. Oh my dear lord. Do you like spicy wow. stuff? Oh, I love spicy stuff. Oh, okay, then you wouldn't have a, you it's just, have a problem. It's just too. It's, anyways, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. I'm ready. I'm gonna eat the whole bowl. <laughs> okay. So I think we can jump straight into some of the questions that we have for you. And mm. just to give you a bit of a background of the podcast itself, we generally try and build a community where we're able to engage with um, our followers and in the sense of getting them to be in touch with people that they might seem as not able to reach out to in a sense. So season one was all about influencers, um, yeah. the higher influ social media influencers in Cape Town, um, and just finding out who they really are. Um, and on that topic, if you had to describe who you are away from politics, hmm. who, where did you grow up? Who were you as a child? What got you into being where you are now? Who How is the you? real yeah. Musi Maimani? Uh, you know, to tell you the truth, I, I, I mean, I, I, I grew up in Soweto, okay. uh, in Dobsonville. I, 
I have a very strong Kosa mother, okay. uh, an incredible Tswana father. So naturally, I'm I'm mixed in that way, yeah, language-wise. Yeah. I my my mother was a cashier yeah. uh, when I when I was growing up, and my father worked for a factory. So we were just that family in the streets that was just like because apartheid said you could live there. Yeah. We had the standard apartheid house. I I grew up in the background of all of what was going on during apartheid. I lived not far from a hostel, so violence was a normal course of events. But I also had a, an amazing, colorful upbringing. I loved football from a child. I played uh, wing. Uh, I was the. Oh, I, I'm still a big fan of Dr. Kumalo. I suppose before Ronaldo was, we were there. We were there. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. But I played football. I listened. I love music. I love, I love jazz. I love mm. Afro jazz. And I'm a piano. I'm a piano. I'm getting into you know. Yeah, but right. but remember, remember, I before I'm a piano. I think Kwaito was there. Okay. You know. So 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 I was always jamming to 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 Kwaito. But I have lived an unbelievable life, and mm. I've so so f- away from all of it. I've always been someone who, just as an activist, just as a. a just a young guy who grew up. I was always shy. You will not believe it. Still okay. am. Really? Yeah. You will. Yeah. I just. I. Yeah. I'm always very nervous. In fact, I didn't. I, even in trying to ask my wife to go out with me, it felt like a lot of work, man. I was so shy. It was frightening. Um, so that's me. That's me. And I've. I've grown up in church. Love God. Love always. Uh, shared a deep faith. And so that's been my journey. That's been my story. So away from politics, I think I like to be on my own. I like mm. to read a bit. I don't think I, I'm <laughs> nerdish in that way. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and if you leave me alone to watch football and read, I'm good. You're good. So if it wasn't for politics or if you weren't um, a politician, what would you be? Like, what would your dream job be? That's a good question because I keep asking myself that question <laughs> all the time. I, I, th- I think in many ways, you know, I've always thought I'm going to... I thought I'd be a priest in the beginning, okay. but now more than anything, I, I think I we have a foundation. And so if I didn't do the work that I'm doing now, I'd probably go into teaching. I'd probably teaching. go into okay. I see that. education, yeah. try and work in that. Because not only did I work in the classroom, but I do think any educator has always got the privilege of shaping up young minds, changing Definitely. young people's minds. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, So that's... That's pretty cool. That's mm. just that's just how I act, yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. And I think a key um word you mentioned there is being an educator. And I was speaking to Dylan and if believe it or not, not many people can get through to Dylan when they to get Dylan to understand something <laughs> is tough. Okay. So I went to school with him, trust I know the teacher struggled with this boy. I can understand. <laughs> I can I, get, I I feel you, right? I, for all the teachers out there, <laughs> Dylan's your guy. <laughs> So in saying that and listening to your upbringing and how you viewed your upbringing, yeah. I feel like, and just watching you being the politician that you are, the way you, so many of our friends, for example, can relate and understand to you when you, when you speak. There's many politicians where they, our guys switch off and it's, there's no understanding, there's no relation. And I think that educator within you is very evident. The fact that if you weren't going to be a politician, you want to go be a teacher, I can see it because just through what you're doing already, there's a basic understanding of something that might not be so simple to understand. You make it really easy to understand. So I think yeah. from our side, we, what we did want to mention to you is that there's a lot of people speaking about how they can relate because of the simplicity when you speak. So I think from our side, it's a big, yeah. it's, it's a big thing. No, I appreciate that. And, and you know, uh, part of it is also just being able to not think of yourself as anything other than you know like yeah. i always find it strange when i meet people who are like i am so and so so you better treat me like <laughs> whatever right sure. like i'm kind of like i always have thought to myself like i want to i want to be the kind of guy you can have a bri with mm. or a kind of guy yes. you can know that will do the job of leading and doing something for this country for sure but those two people are not different people they, they must be the same. They must be the guy you can be like, just show it. You Got know what you. I mean? 
And I think that that's that's very true because there's many people that, like you say, there's the politician in you, and then there's also the side of you that can just sit and watch football. Yeah. But it's the same person. It's just in two different roles, which and we it's just very evident. And pe- people are people. Like the yeah. things that we think about in this country, the things we worry about in this country. I mean, all of us wake up literally every day, and we 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 think about things, we mm. worry about things. We don't. No one is sitting at home going. Uh, you know, when I wake up, I think, what is socialism? What is, <laughs> what, what, what is, what is Marxism? Yo, facts. <laughs> you know, big like, facts. Oh, like, so you don't wake up thinking of that. You wake up facts, in the morning yeah. thinking, are the lights on? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> exactly. Uh, are we going to get robbed? Are we going to, you know, that's yeah, what we're worried about. Cheating, so. All of us, all of us at the start of every new year kind of like be like, what's our resolutions? What are mm. we going to do? We, we focus on those things. That's, mm. that's what we're about. And mm. people are not worried about complicated things. They just worry about those ordinary, ordinary, ordinary. We're, uh, I mean, to quote John Legend, we're just ordinary people. <laughs> hey. Can you see it for us? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, can you please speak to us more about Bossa? Um, am I pronouncing it right? Bold one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Bossa is, is that. Like, it's a political party. People can vote for it. It'll be on the ballot next year. But... We've always just said to us, um, can we be engaged in communities? Mm. Can we be in- engaged with citizens at where they're at? And the best way I can define BOSA is to say, we want to give power back to people. Okay. Mm. I want for people in their communities to nominate their people, bring them to parliament so that they can fight for people. Fight for people on issues like education, like crime, like, like the economy. And one of the things I focused myself on is to say, here are some of the things that we would do. You know, this country has, people have liberated themselves. People have never waited for a hero. The heroes sit in communities. Mm-hmm. And every day I go, I meet incredible South Africans who are doing great things sure. in their towns, in their streets. Why can't we let those people come and represent us in yeah. parliament? So mm-hmm. Bossa is about that. And I am animated by a dream that says, we could build a South Africa upon which, regardless of the color of your skin, we could prosper together and live together mm. peacefully. And we practically have got solutions that say, how do we work together to fix it? So when I think about electricity, I think, can we introduce opportunities where communities can include SMRs so that we yes. fix electricity? Mm. Can we elect leaders in government who are ethical, who people we can look up to and say, I'm proud of mm. our leaders. Like at mm. the moment... We're all proud of the Springboks. <clears throat> yes, 100%. Yeah. But none of us uh, would sit back and say, if there was a World Cup of cabinets, our cabinet would win. <laughs> 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 like we think to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> but the Springboks, you know, they're the best 15 players that can be there. Yeah. Can we produce ethical leaders who can stand up? Can we educate our kids so that they can find a job, not just mm. for them to get through school, right? 100%, yeah. Like, like if we just... Let our kids just say, you will know Pythagoras or you will know uh, the square root of this. That's all mm. fine and dandy. Yeah. But that's the intrinsic value of education. But the extrinsic value is about what job can you do? What what economy are we trying to build so that our kids can be connected to? For sure. That's that's the work that we've got to do. And and ultimately, I'm, I'm always saying, man, our biggest crisis is that young people don't work. Let's put them to work. Mm. For sure. You, and I think you speaking about the community is like understanding the community would be one thing, but in order to understand the community, you have to be within. And they are, the communities have their own leaders. They have their own elders. They have people that they look up to. And having the respect of those people first is how we're going to get in, is how you will get into touch with the youth, for example. Because mm-hmm. if the youth can't, if the elders can't respect you, how will the youth respect them, in a sense? Sure. Um, so I think the approach is very positive in that sense and i think at least to one of my questions of how what do you feel would you say is the main struggle for south africans with with regards to our political system i think before we get into the political system we got to talk about values you you use the word respect yes and you use the word young people and communities I'm not saying those are any of your words. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm not. I'm just, say, I'm just saying. Not me checking my Part mind. of it is about values. For sure. Right? The first starting point, if you, if you think, like if I arrive here, mm-hmm. as boss, I always say to people, our number one value is Ubuntu. Mm. 
mm-hmm. the idea that when I see you, I see a fellow human being, For sure. and we share common threats, right? We share things that worry us. If a if a snake came in here, <laughs> all of us would oh, jump of unless. <laughs> You know, you are nah, not you me. are those people of the old snakes every week. Oh, is it? <laughs> is it? Is it? That's, 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 that's what I'm worried about. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm black. Is all I gotta say. <laughs> so I'll be the first one on the other side. No, but but I think we recognize common threats. So if we hold those values and we <clears throat> in society create a sense of values, we could walk around to people and say. Before you steal, mm. do you recognize that this is a fellow human being? For sure. That we share common threats, we share common issues. And so for me, our politics are, are, are a mess because they don't have values of people anymore. Country. When someone can steal during COVID, mm. like that person is saying, I must take the things of government, make them personal, mm. and ignore that the rest of the country is facing a virus. True. That's mm. that's what that's a lack of value yeah. that you can't even police for. Yeah. Exactly. You can't send police to say. And countries that work, countries that succeed, succeed on the back of being able to share common values. They get together and they say, as a people, we are. Mm. We 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 are fellow human beings. We 100%. care. We yeah. fight. We work together. If you went to Japan, the same. You would identify values. If they say eventually we look after our environment. You will not find paper 100%, around. Yeah, true. Mm. So suddenly that value is in everything. They do things excellently. Mm. Now, as a country, there is a, along with the value of Ubuntu, there's the idea that a Burmaka plan or it's, yes. it manifests. South Africans make a plan. Mm. Mm. Now, that's something we should own and say, we as a country, despite our difficulties, we work harder than anyone and we win. Now, if you and have those values, mm suddenly you'll choose leaders and political leaders mm. that reflect those values. You will sure. not choose people who will steal, who are lazy, yeah. all of those. You will also know that politics is about service to people. So the mess of our politics, in my view, is that it's valueless and it doesn't care about people. For sure. And we've got to bring that back. One of the reasons I even left parliament is because I sat in parliament thinking, hey guys, we're talking about a lot of things, we're talking about things, but are we really solving problems that affect okay. people mm-hmm. like are we genuinely when we sit back we can debate president we can debate this but at the end of the day people are sitting at home going you know at the end of the money there's still more month left you know mm-hmm. that we're running out of money how do we solve for that? imagine yeah. if a government today came back and said guys we know fuel is hitting you hard we're gonna adjust how we Calculate the cost of fuel, yes. even if we give you a one rand reduction, yeah. so that you can actually get from because fuel adds inflation to every other cost. Yeah. Of goods, People right? celebrate, celebrate that, eh? Things, things, yeah. things like that. But that's a government that's been willing to hear the people and respond. Or mm. say, you know, if you ever go to to any shop, I'm always amazed. You know, one of the most stolen items in any shop is formula for children. Is it? Yeah. So if Makes you go, sense though, but that's crazy. So yeah. Sometimes the security around formula, they even wrap it out with those metal things so that it triggers the thing. It's yeah, quite a scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those strips. Yeah, Have you seen that? Yeah. Yeah. Now why? Like that's I'm not saying crazy. people, but it's it should ashamed us as a country. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. That mothers are willing to steal formula. Come on, guys. Mm. Let's figure True. out the best ways to make formula cheaper. Make sure mothers don't go hungry because yeah. a child who's not fed. That child grows up stunted. That child doesn't get educated. That child is going to create 100%. problems. Very true. So, 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 so let's let's make politics easy. We sometimes think politics is this yeah. thing that sits up there. It's actually about how we live our day to day lives, and do our leaders make that easier and happier? You are, your life isn't easy when you are unemployed and hungry and uneducated. Your life isn't happier if you're feeling attacked and and criminals are running communities or or young people are faced up to drugs. Politics is about mm. fixing those things, not some of the complicated things that politicians do even frustrate me. Let's make it easy for people. Yeah. So obviously before Barca, you were at the DA, right? Yeah. Um, can you please chat to us about your experience and obviously um, you, obviously you left the DA. Uh, can you tell us how that happened and 
your experience at, with the DA? I was privileged to to lead. You know, when I when I when I was in the DA, the first thing that I always wanted to be clear about is we wanted to be an organization that delivers for everybody. Mm. The second thing I was very intentional about is I wanted to build an organization for everybody, right? Black, white, Indian, and colored. And and for a long time we were growing. I wanted South Africans from all walks of life because I don't believe in politics of of racial mobilization. Mm. Mm. I, I'm tired of a party that says it's a party for blacks, a party for whites, a party for coloreds, a party for Indians. That's just not how we roll. I, I, I think it's a dangerous thing because then let's not have ideas. Let's not yes. have elections. Let's just look at the voters' role and the census and say, oh, there are so many blacks, so many and whites, so many white. Indians, so many coloreds. And then separate. That's, how, yeah. that's how the election results are. Yeah. I didn't want that. So I fought inside the DA to do that. And in 2016, we'd grown. We were governing in more places. And then in 2019, we had a number of um, African, South Africans who moved back to the Freedom Front Plus. And people said, well, you lost an election in a time where the ANC declined, the DA mm-hmm. declined. You know, it was. Yes. So it was in that season where voters were communicating something differently. And I thought for us to have held on and fought hard was powerful because we contest for these things. Mm-hmm. And a few people inside the DA felt that that wasn't the vision they wanted. They wanted a party that's for minorities. And when you look around today, that's what the DA represents and wants to represent. And I couldn't stay in that. Mm-hmm. You know, when you are pro all of South Africans and people are saying, no, we must be just for this, okay. Okay. then I just can't stay. So I had to leave. And that's why we started Build One South Africa, because it became important for me to fight for that vision. You can't have two visions inside an organization. That's, mm. you know, the, the work. it becomes division. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And so, <laughs> I said your word. <laughs> That's not my word. Yeah, you, I so, was pregnant, <laughs> I'm joking. Ah, ah, no, you are in there. <laughs> you are next. You are, no, you are in there. No, but anyways, mm. I, I gave you a free pass the last time. <laughs> this, is, this is the next one. But, uh, but one of you has got the word youth. I just am trying to figure out, oof. We're going to investigate. I'm going to call Zondo. Remember the, the theme is Shamba. Eh? Now, why the theme you, is Shamba. Now, why people. would you guess what you guessed then? Huh? What did you guess his word was now? Division. Sure you see, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the theme is summer. Summer is youth, you know. Youth, summer you know? is nice word. Summer, 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 <laughs> summer, summer. Yeah. Um, and obviously in the DA, uh, there's another guy that's also <laughs> very passionate. <laughs> but he's very really passionate and um, John Stearnersen. Um, how is it working with him, like personally? Uh, you know me. I I always like to think of myself as someone who never allows the personal to trump my patriotism. Country is always bigger than individuals. Yeah. The day, regardless of the issues you got to rise above them as a leader and recognize that there's a country we got to work towards. So, John has a role. I have a role. Helen has a role. Anybody else does. And when it's said and done, uh, I had to be... Uh, so, 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 he has his job. He's got to do it. It's, it's not my business. Mm. Uh, and, and now I'm focused really on, on building one South Africa. And and he he must do his own job, and, and so I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't hold issues against people. I don't hold issues against. I've tried to avoid that in life because when you hold on to bitterness mm. with people, or you hold on to issues or whatever, you yourself become bitter. Mm. And I've always maintained that you got to be. I mean Nelson Mandela, for all the oppression, all the difficulties, I think showed us the best example of being able to go, your job isn't just only to free those who are oppressed, but it is also to free the oppressor. Mm. And I have had to watch that. I've just finished reading Winnie and Nelson and realized that sometimes one of the things that we can learn the most from Nelson Mandela is that as hard as it is to fight for a country, sometimes you lay down your life in that sense 
and you worry about the greater. So if John Stiernesen was in the room, I, I, have, I have no problem with that. I would literally engage him for the purpose of what we're trying to do in this country. And mm-hmm. it would be the same for Helen. It would be the same for anybody, yeah. really. Including, I've had many engagements with President Zuma, despite mm-hmm. what I think President Zuma's done. Um, and all of that, because we've got a country to build. Yeah. Julius Malema, same. Same WhatsApp group. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, yes, actually sir. saw uh, Julius Malema, I saw on TikTok, um, uh, he was in the stadium and, you know, he was speaking to his people, he yeah, was yeah. motivating them, and then the stage went up and then um, John Cena played the song, John Cena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. So what would your song be? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness me. I, I've i got, me, John Cena. I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> if I'm thinking, I, I can't, let me, let me, th- let me think about it. Okay. But given that the theme is summer, you've just randomly asked me about a song. Is music or song one of your words? Yeah. Have I got it wrong? Unfortunately, that's Yo. two wings for you. Uh, I, no, I'm one wing down. <laughs> the man came with breakfast. <laughs> I'm one wing down. <clears throat> wow. Are these spicy? Can I be eating wings on a podcast? Let's hope so. <laughs> do I have to eat them now? Let's just unwind. And I mean, you, know? you chose to eat it now. <laughs> oh, can I do it later? You can. Yeah, oh, thank you. On the thing. Do we um, have? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tissue or, or toilet roll, in a sense of like service. Okay. I'm, t- I'm two wings down. There's only like four, <laughs> so there's only like I don't oh, know. Oh, is there more? But I've been the only one gambling <laughs> and going and playing. Well, I, I actually, I'm so invested you know, in the actually, conversation. I've already forgot about the words. I like, I like Brighton. <laughs> you know, Brighton <laughs> play the kind of football where they just park the bus and hope to Chilling catch like you on the December. plane. They've done nothing, these two. Just so nothing. You, just so that you know, I've used two of my words already. So oh, you say, same, 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 oh, okay. same, 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 same here. I'm now, I'm now moving on to the bonus words now. <laughs> Bonus words. I haven't used one. <laughs> Bo- I'm going on to bonus words now. Wow. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. But you see, I'm in. I'm in the game. I'm like attacking. This one's competitive. <laughs> the a, forward, the wing. A Liverpool fan, eh? no. Yeah. We we play champagne football. Oh. We're just in there. He literally had the blue mic and he switched it because of Liverpool. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wow. Um, you mentioned that you read the uh, Man- Winnie and Mandela book, right? Um, oh, we also saw that you have uh, your own book that's releasing soon. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, can you speak to us more about that? And sure. Um, I wanted to tell tell a story, tell my own story, tell the story of this country, tell of some of the experiences I've been through, but also put a book that focuses on tomorrow, because. You know, one of the things that you and I can sit here and debate yesterday. Mm. Mm. The only way we fix what went on with yesterday is to create a different tomorrow. So I, I so I've got this book. I've been working on it. Feels like a long time. Um, but, but in being able to put ideas on the table, to be able to write about journey and be able to go, these things self evidently are the things we've got to fight for has has been an, an, an amazing journey of self-reflection, but also putting some things on it. So the book really will, will be about that. I can't wait for it to come out. I am looking forward to it. I think it will you'll will get to know a little bit more about my own relationship with my own wife, how we met, where we come from, what are some of the things. We'll look at maybe what happened inside the DA and why I think some of the thinking inside the DA, some, mm. some of it wasn't mm. great and some of it was painful days, you know. When you look at October, you know, just to give you a bit of a, in the last October, yesterday was exactly uh, uh, the anniversary of the day I resigned from the day. And I had weekends leading up to that that were difficult, Mm. difficult. I was reading lies about myself on newspapers every week, stories that were planted in there. So that, 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 that was really, really difficult a month. And, and so part of it is 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 writing about that but also part of it is about also saying okay if we have this crisis of education what are we going to do if we're going to have this crisis about the economy what are we going to do 
So the book is in that way. It's, 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 uh, so, so yeah, I think it's, it's I, I, despite, there's a famous quote from Martin Luther King that he says, despite the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. Mm. And I love that. Despite the difficulties of what we've been through, what this country is going through, I still have a dream. Mm-hmm, for sure. How would you say, um, you speak about your marriage and your family. Obviously, being in, in the position that you are. Those are one of your words, man. But anyway, we'll carry on. No, no, no. I'm, guys, I'm not taking a guess. He really wants the hobo. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not guessing that. That was just a, that was just a, a, a teaser. A teaser. <laughs> I'm also just going to start giving teasers te- out here. No, 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 no. That's just putting it out. Like, I feel like I'm useless at this game. No, no, no. Yo, no. I'm useless, clearly. I'm useless. actually trying a lot. Though. Right? Everyone else. One guess and then they're done. Uh, anyway. Yeah. But anyway. Um, speaking about your family, mm. did you find, was there a challenge or was it very simple with integration of you getting into politics and fighting fights that somehow do come into your personal space? Because like you say, you read things that are lies. Um, I'm sure your wife would be on social media reading things and she reads things that's about her husband and that can also be very personal and very touching. And I think you're very good at taking emotion out of things and dealing with what you see in front of you. Yeah. Not everybody has that, that gift to them. Um, and you have to spend a lot of time with your family to be, to have that understanding with them and have them on the same page as you. You know, I think one of the things that are difficult is that often people say, oh, to be in politics, you need a thick skin. Mm. I'd like it. And you know, the honest truth is, it's a yes and no situation. When I grew up, we didn't we didn't have twitter we didn't have instagram i um, that might be saying what my age is so <laughs> i i apologize about that <laughs> but 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 in the advent of social media people forget that at the end of the cell phone the app there's still a person there for sure and people say things on social the media ruthless. yeah that forget that you're a human being yeah. they they launch rockets <laughs> like even the and soccer players they you, you know what? get it worse yeah worse. they make it personal yeah. they forget that you are i've been called so many things in my life man mm. and eventually you learn to realize that okay and it's natural, right? You listen to the critics and you ignore your supporters. For sure. Eventually, you've got to learn to let that noise get over you. Yeah. But in the beginning, I won't lie to you. There were days I'd lie in bed with my wife and we'd be scrolling through through Twitter or whatever. Mm. And you'd hear the things people say about you. Mm. It's, it's sometimes you, you, you know, it's like drinking poison to make yourself feel better. You yeah. Know? So it just was terrible. But... I think also you must be careful not to develop too thick a skin because you should always care. Mm. You know, eventually everything becomes the same. You treat yeah. everybody the same. Um, and sometimes you've got to sit inside someone's shack and not treat that as a stat or anything. You've still sure. got to... The things that disturb you, the things that break your heart should always break your heart. Mm. You should never as a... Because... When we become cynical, that's when we become corrupt. Got you. Because when you're a cynical person, you stop believing you can change the world. Mm. And I don't know. I want to keep that honest naivety to believe that we can still change the world. To believe that it is not good enough for someone to still live in a shack. It's still to believe without doubt that it's... It's a crime for a young person to loiter the streets all day, all the time, with no place to go, with no education to find. I must, this morning, was speaking to uh, Naima's mother, this young woman who, because as a as a 14-year-old, this guy asked her out, and she said no, he went and got a gun and killed yes, her. Yes, yes. Like, you know the story. Yes. Now, today, there's still a mother who hasn't had justice. There's still a mother who, yeah. who's still grieving. And the systems have long forgotten about that. Well done. There is no investigation really to speak of. Mm. They're appearing in, in court, but really no responses. So, never 
never lose the softness to care yeah. about an individual. Um, I think it's 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 great that you say that because I also feel that sometimes hurtful comments or a lot of the times it comes from a very hurtful place and if you can find that message within the message itself yeah it's almost like you don't have to take it as personal so look through the negativity of the message and sometimes there is a positive in it and it's trying to find that which is the difficulty in it all and there's not always going to be that positive side to it yes there's something that like you say you can let blow over your shoulder sure but i think there is a lot of times where people might say things and you must try and understand where they come from but like you say, allow yourself to be sensitive. Allow yourself to to feel what you need to feel because at the end of the day, like this whole conversation has been about we human. We yeah. all have emotions behind us. So. You know, like, I'll tell you this, you know, when I was a, when I was young, uh, <laughs> still am young. By still the way, young. <clears throat> I used to, I got, I got, I got onto my first flight ever. Okay. And I was on this small little plane. Like, you know those planes where you sit on the side? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is checking you. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're flying off to Durban. And man, it was terrible. Because every piece of turbulence that hit you on that plane, mm. you felt like this is it. About to go down. And when we <laughs> landed, I got out, I kissed the ground, not because I was, <laughs> I was trying to be the Pope, but I was like, I am alive. <laughs> and I vowed it was to Durban. I said to myself, I'll walk home. I'm not flying <laughs> back. It's just, it's just too far. And, but on the way back, they got us this much bigger jet yeah, yeah. and all of that. And jets fly through turbulence and sometimes mm. you don't feel it. Yeah. Mm. Right. And I remember thinking to myself, the big lesson there is when you got a small vision, turbulence hits you all the time because you think everything is an issue. But man, when the haters come, sometimes I think to myself, yeah, you can, you can, I mean, I'm sure people are going to be like, they try everything. You say anything, they're like, he was wearing these socks, there was this, he is married to this woman, he's like this, he's like that. Small things, man. Mm. That's like, like like we're flying a big, big, big plane, so we've mm. got to get through turbulence. And so I'm not going to be dist- distracted by, by haters in many ways. At some point, you've got to say to yourself, guys, when are you are still worried about whether the spring box are like this or like that, <laughs> we're, we're fighting some big stuff at the moment. So For sure. let's... Let's let's get on a big plane. And that's always been my mantra. Like, when the haters come, remember you're in a jet. Yo, Before we move on message. to the a few fun things, um, I just want to ask two questions that people have given us. Um, so the first one is about load shedding. Right? Mm. Um, what are your thoughts about it? How do we as a country overcome load shedding in a way? Like, how do we come together about load shedding? I, I don't know how old you are, but... But if you are 17 in this country, you've never had a year where you've never had low shedding. Think about that. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> ne- crazy. Next year's voters are going to be voting for the first time going in all of our lives. We've never not yeah. known low yeah. shedding. Like, let That's that sink wild. in. It is it's wild. Mm. That's like matriculant. Bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly it. That's your friend. You just made it. <laughs> My... My daughter, um, it's her birthday today. So really? yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're with us. Yeah, I'm Happy here birthday. with you. But uh, she know she's three. She knows load shedding. She's like, oh, the lights she on. walks around. She's like, oh, it's load shedding. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> other kids are learning new words like Spider Man. She's like, load, load shedding. shedding. <laughs> like, I mean, mm. can you? So, so, so I make that to say it's been too long. Mm, sure, it's been too long. The I, truth is. You can't have a 17-year-old problem and call yourself a legitimate government. You can't. That's the, f- the second thing is, because it's been too long, I'm not confident that this current government has it within itself to solve it. Mm. For sure. And the only solution we found, if I tell you the honest truth, is that <coughs> demand has decreased. So people are taking themselves off the grid. Big industries are taking themselves off mm. the grid. And that's what's stabilizing load shedding. That's yeah. why we have this. I think we should have been much more aggressive by doing a couple of things. One, every household in this country must at least at a minimum level have some solar panels. Mm. The reason for that is even when we are at any stage of load shedding, people must never not be at a basic level of lights. Yes, all of that. Because when the lights are off, it's not just the electricity inconvenience. It's that for the sure. police station doesn't work. It's that the hospital yeah. doesn't work. It's that the schooling... You used to try and send your kids to school without electricity yeah. or all of those other things. And then furthermore, 
when the lights go off, the municipalities battle. So the water goes out. Mm. And eventually, because sewage pumps cannot work, all of those kinds of things. So it is an economic infrastructure we have to have fixed. You can't live 18 years or exactly. 17 years with load shedding and hope for growth. So we've got to give every household uh, solar panels and we should have been aggressive at that. Yeah. Even if we partner with people, people will pay for it yeah, sure. if it helps them. Secondly, we should have, by now, we won a court case actually. We went and fought a court case in okay. in the high court where we said, let's put rooftop panels so that uh, schools, hospitals and police stations be exempt from load shedding. Yeah. Give them alternative energy because when you do that, Actually, what eventually happens is that those systems work even in the dark, but you also reduce demand. Mm. Thirdly, let's bring out what is called build, own, operate, which means that let's allow big industry like mines, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, to build their own substations, more, small stations, so that they can power themselves up. It does two things. It takes them off the grid, yeah. but it also allows them to, 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 to contribute to the grid. And where those are made out of wind, solar, nuclear, safe nuclear, whatever the case is, then you augment that. And then lastly, I do think to a more, more serious effect, let's fix ESCOM. Mm. You know, over 20, 26,000 megawatts are going to come from ESCOM. So let's fix it. Let's make sure our coal-fired power stations are working well uh, and we can transition over a period of time to make sure yeah. we use more renewables, etc. But set up that as an entity that is working well. Because at this point in time, when it's breaking all the time, it's a it's a mess. It's a yeah, problem. Hundred percent. Yeah. No, for sure. Great ideas. Yeah. So, Hopefully it so, 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 we gotta fix it in that. Way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, to get the youth involved into um, Bossa, I know Tara told us a stat earlier. How many youth aren't even registered? Yeah. Um, Fourteen million or something, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, how do they get involved and register? We've got um, uh, young builders. And Young Builders Movement, I always think to myself, get involved, get involved in your campuses. Uh, Sydney, in many campuses across the country, there's a YBM, a Young Builders Movement, and people can be a part of it. You can check out on our website. You can, you know, connect with me on all platforms, Instagram, TikTok. <laughs> I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, guy. Uh, You're going to show also, us a TikTok dance after this. Eh? <laughs> Tara says she's embarrassed at my TikTok dancing. <laughs> and yet I'm the only recorded artist in the room, right? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, all I'm saying is, so on, on, on Twitter, and, and if people, you know, whatever DM, whatever facility, I'll connect you with the people. We make sure ultimately um, mm. you can be a part of a movement. But more than anything, get involved in your community. Fix it where you're at. Sure. Young people have a powerful voice. You can ask an organization. I try and be very intentional about going, the youth are not the leaders of tomorrow, they're the leaders of today. Mm. You know, here's something that something some of us must never forget. You know, When President Mandela became the president in this country, and I know for many young people, they may not connect with that, but many of the cabinet ministers were in their late 30s, early 40s. Mm. These were young people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I think about what's been going on in this country, even around fees must fall, these are young people fighting for a legitimate cause. Sure. When I look at the crisis we face today of youth unemployment, mm. is the young people that are most affected. So I'm saying to young people, let's 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 work together. You can make the impact that you need to make. So they can join YBM. They can make a difference there because youth. Man, young people are people, man. They are, mm. they are that. They are that. And rather than sitting at home, chilling, relaxing, because uh, often when I ask young people why, 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 why don't you go vote? I say, nah, I'm just chilling. Bro. Mm. It's a free day. It's I can relax. I'm like, ah, uh, <laughs> chief. Uh, uh This is not the time. This is your country. Yeah. It's just one day. Mm. Go out. Go. It's not a time for relaxation. It's you gotta get there, vote, do your thing, you know, yeah. do your thing, make a difference, make so your mark, make your mark. And 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 I'm saying to young people, yeah, take it, take it, take it. If young people, if young people, let me say this: if two million young people hook it up and they come out in their numbers and vote, this country will change. And sometimes young people forget that their vote counts as much as any as their parents vote. Yeah. It's like 
it's like the same. Yes. It's not like Literally. the parents' vote is like on a formula of of over one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's the same. It's the same. Equal. One, one. Yeah. You, if like my kids now, right? Mm. Let's assume in a number of years now, I've got three kids, uh, uh, one wife. I must get those. <laughs> <laughs> so if all of us are together. <laughs> In truth, they can outvote me. Yeah. And their vote yeah. is one one. <laughs> they can they can outvote. <laughs> it is the same in a country. Young people, the median age for Africa is 23. Young people are by far the majority in this country. Mm. They must turn out, they must vote. This is our country. Let's make it happen. For sure. Beautiful. Definitely. People need to start registering, you know. <coughs> this uh, weekend, middle of weekend in November, young people can <clears throat> can register. They can they can register to vote. There's another one on the third and fourth of February. They can register to vote. But more seriously, go on the website, go on the IEC website, on my Instagram page. You can go in there, check it out, click the bio, go there, find it. You can register to vote. It's sure. Like it's not rocket science. You yeah, can like yeah. do it. But like, there's nothing. You know, I remember my first vote. I wasn't sure what was going on. Yeah. You know, but I just thought eh, eh, it's it's important enough to go do it because mm. it gives me an opportunity to choose our leaders. Like, yeah, yeah. When young people get this thing, we can, you know, and and here's the beauty of it. People think the rules are set in the country and so there's nothing we can do. If when young people turn out to vote, they can set the rules. They can mm. go to parliament and they say <clears throat> We're tired of this parliament where they are discussing things that don't matter. We're going to introduce our discussions. Mm. We're going to make sure that jobs, you know, if whatever laws you want to push, let's say jobs must be done like this, that young people must all be given a tablet in this country so that they study online, so that we stop upgrading textbooks that are old. Young people can do it. Come on. Young people must. Yeah? Do you think it's a possibility where, you know, when the... the or, or let me say it this way. Young people are the solulu. Yeah, okay, not the Lulu. You see? Yeah. Oh, sorry, You're so sorry. young. You, you got see, it. See, uh-huh. Yeah. Do you feel that you know when the the political parties go to the schools and they give the speeches about um, the voting and all of that? Is it a possibility to take voting stations? I know some schools set up in their hall, but then everyone can go vote there. But during a school day and be like, okay, guys, if you of age of voting in the hall, you can go vote right now. If I see Dylan going to go vote. Some then, people, infl- I'm, it might be funny, but uh, some people are influenced by, for example, Dylan. Peer pressure. Yeah, yeah peer pressure. It's like, uh, not to say that I'm encouraging peer pressure, but in the sense of, if I can ask him, why is he going? And we can have that conversation at the start. Absolutely. And, and, and each one of us, the only thing that we must do, particularly young people who are registered, yeah. is for them to talk to their friends. It starts Just in grab a friend, groups, grab yeah. two or three. Say, let's go vote. Yeah. You might say, oh, I don't know who to vote for. Well, let, then let's find out, but yeah. let's go do it. For sure. Let's, let's, when we all vote, we, can, we are in charge. Yeah. But the politicians think they're in charge because young people don't vote. So, so let's go let's vote. Switch the script. So let's, I agree with you. Like one of the things I'd be keen to do if I became president of this country is to say, we should let young people be able to register to vote along with the day you register to write your metric exams. Because you need an ID to do both. Exactly. Uh, so, 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 so once you yeah. are doing that, you are also registered. Yes, and also you your saying? address yeah. doesn't change. 100%. So we know you're living in this community and you are registered to vote so that you can go vote. And it makes it that simple because everything's there and done. Straightforward. Wow. Yeah. Uh, the, why the, has no one thought of that? But like, I mean, <laughs> there are so many yet, things. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I never thought of it. But <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there are so many simple things yeah. that we can use yeah. that will allow easier, easier participation. 100%. It's not that they don't think about it, by the way. It's that there are some people who want to make voting hard oh. because they know if they stop the force of youth, I mean, no young person is going to go vote for people who are forcing them to be unemployed. Mm. Facts. Like, like, Facts. like you can't go, it's, it would be like, as they say, chickens voting for Christmas. It's like, <laughs> it's, it's not going to happen. Where did the saints come from? Bro? <laughs> you know, like, 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 young people, young people, they know, they know. So they are like, eh, let's not push them too hard because these ones are going to come after us. But young people, let's take it upon our hands. You've heard it here, ladies the fire and gentlemen. Um, so we can reveal our words. Um, uh, is, are we are we at that time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
I'll read mine. I said samba. My word is samba. I didn't use dancing, but I should have. You gave him the theme as his word. Yeah. That's oh. cheating, bro. <laughs> he introduced a topic. Fried, frying pan and boxing day. It's easy words. To be but you didn't use frying pan or boxing day. No, I, I used summer and unwind. Oh, uh, anyway. guy, guy, <laughs> guy. You I didn't guess it. <laughs> I didn't just use fire, December, and beach. That's the only three I used. And then... When I did you say December? Mate, you were talking there, and then I still said we're chilling in December. But you don't listen to me when you speak. That's no, why. No, no, no. Uh, anyway, guys, <laughs> but guys, me, I how do we have Boxing Day? Both of us. I, we didn't I gave it. you my word. I told you New Year's. I told you people start their New Year's resolutions all the time. Yo, I, I can beginning. remember. I told you that for young people, this is not a time to relax. My word is relaxation. Yeah, I told them young people can't relax. They must go home. Why you I told you straight up that we're going to... I'm the guy who want to hang out with at a bri. Oh! Bri was one of my words. Straightforward. Oh! And... <laughs> And I just want to say, this is why this man is running for president. (laughs) Bonus word was butter. And I told you that people people are selling things on the side of the road, even if they are selling butter. Those people, I even said, No, I wrote the thing. Okay, so we're about to go into the next segment. This is called the Drink Put Deep Dive. This is where our team behind us has gone onto Instagram and found images that they're going to pull up. And we basically gonna ask you questions on it for you to explain what we see. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> Yo. Ah! <laughs> that one. What does it say? Read the caption there, though. My full names are Musi Alexis. Tell him I'm worried. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> I did this on purpose. Why guys. should your parents? If I was your parents, should not be paying for school fees, bro. We should get a, we should get a refund. We should get a refund. Wow. We be careful, otherwise I'm not gonna vote to you. I know. <laughs> I, I'll tell you this, but like this was uh, this was my grandmother. She passed. But um, this was when I was I was 16 in matric. So 17. Wow. 16 in matric. Yeah. I, and and I'd just been, like, I was a prefect on this day. Like, there's so much to the story because, firstly, my parents were working and they couldn't go. Like, when I told my parents, I'd be, yeah, like, yeah. it was like one of those things you have in the morning. Like, you know, like, mm. I, 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 I'm getting a demerit or like a married. Like, I was like, <laughs> I'm going to school. I think they, I'm, I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm a prefect. Like, my, mm. my parents were so like, we can't make it. Like, Eesh. they couldn't be there. So my grandmother volunteered. She said she would take me. And I was the first honor student in our, in, our, in our school and a student of color. So when I look at this, two things. My grandmother named me Aloysius, uh, Aloysius. which was a Catholic That's how you say. Uh, name. Um, and, okay. and, and she has always been, she always was the one who was like, Musi, you can, you can do things. Yeah. And, so when I look at this picture, I remind myself that that 17-year-old kid there, if I looked at him today and I said to him, pal, mm. it's, it's going to be okay. Don't worry about pimples. Don't worry about like eyes. Yeah. Don't worry about little things. Keep in mind that one day you'll shake the hands of leaders and presidents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would tell him it's going to be okay. Started young. Wow. What school was this? That's Ellen Glenn. I'm a West Rand boy. I'm from West That Rand. was in Joburg because West Rand is the best Rand. <laughs> Not whisk up. <laughs> yeah, not whisk up. <laughs> okay, next one. Hey, you are in there on the Instagram. <laughs> ah! Yo. Yeah, I love this. I love this. I love this. This is my coach. Um, I love boxing, by the way. Boxing is such an unbelievable sport. Um, and so I used to do a lot of boxing. And, you know, here's the deal about boxing. You know, in boxing, boxing is the one sport, right? Like, you got to keep your hands up. That's the rule. Because mm-hmm. actually, mm-hmm. you know a boxer is tired by yeah, whether they drop their hands. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. actually, that's why you uppercut a boxer. Because you want to try and get them to drop, drop, yeah, drop, yeah, yeah. drop. So that their jaw is open. That's yeah. your most vulnerable point. So if I hook you there, you're on the floor. Mm. So... So, so this always reminds me that like, hey man, keep your hands up. Yeah. And in parliament, people say like wild things. They say crazy things. This is my, 
mantra always keep your hands up because people are going to say crazy things they're going to land punches some punches land i'm afraid when people are throwing things at you some punches land but boxing is always a genuine even in discouragement never quit always pursue a win i think we need to see Dylan versus you know, the, the, yeah i was gonna say so obviously <laughs> they have like this whole influencer boxing match yeah. right like friendly whatever who would be the one person you would box against will smith well, <laughs> that was I've so decided. quick and hey, so I'm, confident. I, I, I am over that guy now. You know, I'm, a, I'm a big Will fan, but like now, I, the things of late, eh, eh, too many entanglements. What was that? <laughs> Let's have a go. <laughs> and in South Africa, no one? Anybody South Africa. Know? Drop a name. Uh, in Parliament, who's your opponent? Who? Opponent? Yeah. Uh, you know who I normally, who I've sparred with a little bit, who um, is my friend, Sir Vingezi. He's like, okay, a, yes, okay. yes, yes. he's like, a, he's like, he's like my bra. He's, he's like a I brother. I saw he was too. at the World Cup. I saw that. Picture. I know he's a bit wild, that picture. guy. So, <laughs> so we've 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 sparred a bit together. He's a good friend, but um, but from an opponent point of view, I think bring Julius, man, bring Julius, Julius yeah. on the other side. Let's have it. <laughs> let's. He must yeah, bring. You need to make it happen from the red corner. You have to make it happen. Uh, so <laughs> it'll be a fun thing. So you'll come at the John Cena. Who you coming at, Sister Bettina? Ah, in the meantime, <laughs> it is my favorite song. Oh man. shit! Okay. <laughs> For all, oh, you see, you know the song. He knows it. Siete, <laughs> but you can't sing you the song. The lyrics, the lyrics are a little bit wrong, and I don't endorse the lyrics of the song. I just think the so beat that is be your song. That is my song. That's my jam. And then Dylan will be your MC. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be a hype man. Aha! Uh-huh. Can just you can just give me a top, right? The star says you she says you bring top. tops to us. <laughs> ah, no, which one? You bring one another one. Oh my! Goodness. The boiler days. Ah, this was this, uh, it, a football game we were playing. Um, I can't I, see anything. Funny enough, uh, there's some great players in there. Like Sean Bartlett, Wilfred McGay. We played this Coca Cola Cup thing. I love football, still do. Um, so and I. Yes, yes, yes. Is there. Um, and we're playing at Athlo. Uh, so, so, so yeah. So I, I love football. I still play. I play every every Wednesday. I play fives. Uh, fives now. Um, okay. But I, I love football, man. Um, so we have another player for our team. Right? Is yeah. it? Where do you guys play? <laughs> Are you playing tonight? Yeah. If you're a man short, let me know. <laughs> where, where, do, where do you I'm play? I'm in there. Huh? Which, which um, five score do you play by? I play, we play at, at Kems Bay mm. because they... <laughs> Uji. I don't Uji. live, I don't Uji. live in Kems Bay. <laughs> I just go there, it's got such a beautiful view, man. That's the one quarter. I'm still going to play by. I've got very good, very, very good friends who, who live out that way. We play football together. Okay. We play with some good people. I mean... Eric Tinkler, who mm. coaches uh, City, plays with us. A couple of good players. So it's always fun to play. So who do you support in Cape Town? Sit, Cape Town City or Spurs? I know. I'm not getting into that, man. I want to live. <laughs> <laughs> Our fans are ruthless, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the fans in South Africa are crazy. The derby is a hit. Yeah. No, no, I, I think probably more on balance. I've known City. I've known City for a long time. Okay. I know John and the team there. I play with Eric. Mm. So I back them. I support them. Uh, Spurs... And Spurs are new to the thing, you know. You see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Soweto, so who are you choosing? The Soweto Derby. In the meantime, <laughs> listen, listen uh, let's not talk about the plight of Kaiser Chiefs, you know. <laughs> Kaiser Chiefs have been going through a lot. Yes. Guys, they've been through much. That's my team. Uh, ish, ish, it's tough. Mm. It's tough. We know, we know, we, we sympathize with Man United supporters. We sympathize. <laughs> I hold them dear because at Chiefs, we have been struggling. Yeah. Uh, it's been, it's been hard, but I'm glad we got, I'm glad we're getting a new coach. I have Nechorena. I go there quite a few times. I see the guys there. We will come back. We'll come back. But you know, like what so. it is. Once, <laughs> yeah, you know, my father's a buccaneer. So at home, we have, uh, we have fights. So at the derby, it's going to be, as they say, it's going to be lit. Hey, but Soweto loves soccer. Yeah. I was there recently for work in Soweto and literally we were working with a company called Safe Hub. Yeah. All the kids in the street, everybody, like, if the kids are bunking, they're playing soccer. Mm-hmm. And those who are at the school, it's soccer. It's everywhere. For, but, you know, this country, you know, like, you know what we never must forget? This country, whenever people say South Africans have, 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 have race issues. Yeah, racist country. I say, 
You know, I grew up um, even during apartheid with players like Shane McGregor mm. celebrated at Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah. Uh, we grew up, football has always brought different races together. It was one of the more progressive in NSL. I can even remember when South Africans, when people say South Africans are xenophobic, I say, eh, eh. Mm. We had players from Swaziland, from Zambia, from Zimbabwe, yeah. who played in these teams. Yeah. I even remember going to a game where there was a South Africa 11 and an Africa 11. Yeah. And they would play such games. When we think football has brought, you know, yes, we won the Rugby World Cup in 95 and we should host it again. This is a plug to say, enough. Yeah. <laughs> we bring the World we, Cup. We, Not yeah. just win. Not only win this weekend, but yeah. the World Cup itself, must the tournament, must be played back again in Africa. Yeah. France have had it, England have had yeah. it. To how many times we need it back? Another one is the game we knew supposed hey, to. You know what I mean? Like yeah, so, so, so what I'm saying is we've done that, but mm. rugby is watched by fewer people in the world. The soccer World Cup final is watched by more than half the population of the world. So let's play soccer in context. And yeah. we hosted it here and yeah. we did an incredible spectacle of it. So football, football in this country has always done incredible things and rugby is doing and cricket are doing. Now what we've got to do is make sure we've got a world-class government. Mm -hmm. I promise you we'll change the we this is the country. I love this country. We 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 can we we can man, we can rock this thing. I yeah. I agree with you. The future is Africa. Yeah. Are you bringing in the wings? Ah, Munna. Yeah. Are you bringing more wings? Yeah. More. These are nice and warm. We haven't even started on one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got you. What spice is in there? Ask one and know. He's the one that made what it. What sauce? <laughs> Whose house is this? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you guys form other things when I'm not here. <laughs> oh, 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 you're sleeping. <laughs> it's like your... Yeah. Right. You got the last one, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're going to ask you five questions and let's see how smart you really are. What do I get if I've got the bonus ones? Because I used all of them. They didn't even guess once. Yeah, we, we, we will take another wing. Yeah. Yo, he's got big hands. My neck is small, bro. <laughs> Don't break me. <laughs> um... You're doing great. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> First time seeing this quiz, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to start off easily. Okay. What is the name of the national flower of South Africa? Protea. Okay. Any message to the Proteas that are actually playing in the world? Hey, camp? guys, you. <coughs> no, none of that. Let's just. <laughs> <laughs> um. When did the National Party win power and introduce apartheid laws? Was it, uh, uh, this is, I've got it, just 1948. 1948 is correct. Ah! <laughs> well done, well done. He doesn't want um, any more wings. I'm trying to find <laughs> difficult questions. Um, Ask me the easy one. Yeah. The two biggest cities in South Africa. Largest is 20. Okay. And uh, biggest, sure. Uh, I can't, because 20 is the third largest city in the world by urban sprawl, so it must be the biggest in South Africa. I would imagine the second might be a Teguini. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dylan doesn't know either. <laughs> this, what does it say? This is great, bro. <laughs> Cape Town writes the answers themselves. It says the two largest, Cape Town. Oh. Oh. Depends anyway. how you measure large, by population density or by sport. Okay, I'm going to ask another question. Okay, who has the most Springbok caps in the team currently? Currently? If I look at the 15 who are playing, hmm. yeah, I, don't know. I would say Billy mm -mm. Really? One more guess. He's a forward. A forward? Some say he's been having a great World Cup. Oh, yeah, Ben Oh, yeah. Yeah, ben? yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah ben is unbelievable. He's been, he's been playing. Well. He's been, he's been, been playing unbelievably well. He's he's carried us through. Um, 
at least certainly in the last game against France. Mm. He's, he's, and he's a great human being. Yevon is a great human being. So any message to the Springbok? Springbok hey guys, there? bring it back home. See, uh, I think uh, this is one of the greatest rugby teams we've sent to any World Cup. You guys are great. You are South Africa. And you've shown in the semis and quarters that it doesn't matter how tough the games are, how mm. everything is against you, you've been able to pull it off. This is now that moment. Our nation stands with you. We support you. And I think more than anything, um, remind yourself that every time you put on a box jersey, it's not just for you. It's for the South Africans out there. If you remind us that we can win, we can win against crime, we can win against anything. And so from me to you and for the many South Africans that are here, hey, let's bring it back this weekend. Let us defeat the All Blacks because, um, you know, we've done it before. We mm. beat them in 95. And we don't lose finals. We beat them in 95. We've beaten them again. We are going to do it. So, my boo, yeah. You, you, you. <laughs> Say, give us a public holiday on Monday. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just call me. Just call. I'm your guy. I'm your. I'm your hype guy. That public holiday on Monday. Yeah, yeah. We need a public we, holiday. Public holiday. Is it true? Public holiday. Yeah. Um, you think it will happen? <laughs> <laughs> South Africans are like, no. I, we must have a commemorative day, but you can't. I, I, I you, Wait, are you saying it's, 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 it's no, it's, it's legal. Camp. It's legally not possible. The country, no. the country, the country is only allowed in the constitution twelve public holidays. Can 12. we replace one? So you can subs one. Uh, okay, but Which, like only Christmas twelve. Christmas. <laughs> you can be like ah, this boxing year, day, boxing day. This, yeah, this year, <laughs> boxing day is now. But what you can do mm -hmm. is I appeal to all the employers out there. And schools to say Monday needs to be a late start. Yeah. <laughs> so let's start at 12 yeah. because I think it's going to be hard. So wait, you can't do that. Well, you can. It's by choice of all the employers. And it's not a public holiday. Because when you, when you declare a public holiday, there are also other things that happen with a public mm. holiday. Anyone who goes to work, you've got to pay them double on the day. So all of those things. So, 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 so we don't need a public holiday. Let's ask the employers. Man, work will start at 12 o'clock on Monday. Schools included. So, so don't lie to us. <laughs> <laughs> Can we please have a week? <laughs> They'll probably cold. Taste, taste, um, these wings. So I need those ones. I like cold wings. Oh, oh. Honestly, I don't oh, like no, when they, when they heat it up. Warm, Truly. And it's stronger. Yeah. Oh, bro, why are you leaving wings, the big ones for me, bro? Wings, 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 wings. Taro. The smallest one. <laughs> I have one hand at the moment, bro. Cheers. 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 This is unnecessary. And I saw on TikTok that you asked people questions uh, if they were president for the day. So now I'm going to reverse it. If you were president for the day, <coughs> what would you do? I know what you said earlier, but I want a different answer. Hire the best. Hire the best. Just for the day. I would go out to all the people who are brilliant at what they do and hire the best. Mm. Make Sia the minister of sport. No, no. <laughs> but, but, but that's hire the best. We don't have the best working for us, I'm afraid. Hire the best. That's what I would do for the day. Okay. Yeah. What would you do for the day? These wings are... I can't bara. focus right now, bro. <laughs> It's a bit salty, Mr. Al the Chef. Less salt next time. <laughs> if you had to take us out for a day in the life. But please, can you pack these away for his butt calls me? <laughs> <laughs> please, man. You did a good I'm job. I'm going to go with him. Mm. Mm. if you had to take us out on a day in the life with you. Which you're going to do because Tara promised us. Yeah, she and promised us that you'd she, take us along. She said that. When you're going down the streets and, you know, on the microphone. She said, I could stay next to you in my boss's office. Let's cruise. Let's cruise. A day in the life. So that's mm. a deal, eh? A deal. It's on. Yeah? I confirm. <laughs> <laughs> God, my name goes up the list now, eh? <laughs> Our name. I tell you what. I tell you what. I tell you what. Let's cut a deal. Let's cut a deal. So next year we go back to Parliament, right? Mm. Anytime 
you want to come to Parliament. You lie. Just let me know. We organize it. We cruise in there together. Yeah. And you can be my special guest. Anyway. What? Deal. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm, using, I'm using this other hand. <laughs> hand the dirty. This, <laughs> what this one think... is occupied. Ah, oh, I love this. So, so we'll cruise in there together. For Deal. sure. Deal. Thank you so much. Deal. I Uber black. Just don't. <laughs> All black. No, we, we can't All black. Who? Maybe can, you must explain to me something. Now I know the history of this, but I feel before I go, I must address this issue. Mm. I went to Newlands and the All Blacks were playing here. And there were many South Africans who went there to support the All Blacks. Mm. Those South Africans, why? <laughs> now I know the history. <laughs> yeah. I know the history. I get the history. Mm. But for this weekend, just once. Surely. Just once. Surely. Surely this weekend, the green and gold are your thing. I, I even wrote... I asked nicely. They can't wear the checkers kit this weekend. Mm -mm. Eh? Mm -mm. We wear the green and gold. Everyone, please. Ne? I rate restaurants. You're not allowed in if you're not wearing a springbok top. I, I, I was actually um, going to wear my springbok top the entire week. I was going to do I mean, it. I'm only drinking green things this week. Also, I know, so. I know, I know, I know. I was going to do it. It's just that, it's just that, it's just that, you know, I don't have five. So I've got to peak. I've got to peak at the right time. So I'm going to start from tomorrow. Build up until Saturday, you wear the next one. Every day, exactly. different Pock jersey. Yeah? Pock Friday. It's going to be a great right. weekend, hey, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Brian, right you look like you are suffering there. My mouth is not evil. Have you had two? Yo, I've had one. This is why I'm suffering because I've had two. Uh, 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 and these, I feel like you took the right ball. Sorry, you want one? Are you sure? It's a team game. <laughs> hmm? But uh, oh, these are the best wings I've had. Mm. That says a lot. We should start making our own wings. That says a lot. Do you like wings? I... You're not a fan of wings. She looks like she likes Your citizenship is revoked. <laughs> exactly. Mm. These chicken, these chicken, these chicken wings are so spicy. I'm <laughs> wondering, even avian flu is not going to survive here. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Okay. The last thing before we end the show. Um, advice to the youth in South Africa. Anything you want to say to them? Words from Lucy Maimani. I know the um, the dad in me wants to say stay at school, get educated, do all of those things. Uh, don't do drugs. And, and all of those things are true because I would say the same to my daughter. But I want to say to young people, I, I guess if I was to give you an advice is to li live... Talent is but one thing. Hard work is what gets you to the top. Don't... Don't, if, if, if I looked at my 13, 16 year old self, if I looked at my own daughter, if I looked at anyone, the only piece of advice I would give you is don't quit. Don't quit. It gets harder. It gets difficult. I failed my driver's license. That's the truth. But others, when they look at my driving today, so we can understand why, but... <laughs> Where you parked, eh? But 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 <laughs> <laughs> but that all makes sense. But if I if if I after the driver's license test, I said to myself, I'm gonna give it a miss. I wouldn't be able to drive today. Um, I I didn't have the best marks at school. I can tell you that now. Um, but but we worked we worked we worked hard and we kept yeah. fighting. I didn't come from the best background. I didn't have money when I when I finished school. I was working for Total Sports, man. I was selling shoes, bro. So, get us discounts. so I I I get it. I I I, I, I yeah. I, and I'm and I'm not saying that that's the hardest circumstance possible. Sure. But all I want to say is, do not quit. Do not quit. All obstacles and challenges are designed in such a way to tempt you, to seduce you into giving up. 
And once you've given up, then of course, you take drugs, you do whatever. But don't. Don't. Don't quit. Keep pushing. Because those who succeed don't succeed because they're cleverer or more talented or anything. They succeed because they never quit. They just keep going. And Love that. I, that's, if I was to say anything to young mm. people, that's what I would say. Man, don't, don't, don't give up. Just keep. If, yeah, yeah. Just like <clears throat> at the school, you know? Super yeah, I'm not sure it's sex, but uh, I know Super Weinberg, Weinberg, they say Super de which means never, never give, give up. up. So, yeah. No, no, no. I, 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 yeah, I'm thinking about it harder. Yeah, it doesn't matter what business you're in, doesn't matter what you do. Yeah. The temptation to give up mm -hmm. is always before you. Always. But don't, don't do it. Don't, um, yeah. Great advice. Great advice. Um, what is something small for you on behalf of uh, Drink Boot? It's a nice bag that you can use as well. I use it for my rugby boots. You know? <laughs> but uh, Shay uses it for his hockey balls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you will use it. But is you play hockey? Yeah, I do, yeah. That's great. That's great. So, my son plays hockey. Yeah. He must come for, for coaching. Ah, thank you. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Hey? Him. You play SA hockey? I used to play for South Africa, yeah. That's incredible. Thank you. Keep going. For sure. You see what I mean? I actually quit, and this, <laughs> this was the reason for me to get back into it. Now. <laughs> I, I, well, you just phone, phone him. That's why I got me we, back we, to play hockey. We, 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 we're I, friends now, right? We're, we're like that. Give us, give us a ring. <laughs> no, I like, I like, I, I, I mean, I mean, I don't understand all of hockey. Like, it looks a bit similar to football, but I don't know all the rules. You mean Sunday's coaching? Uh huh. I'm there. But you, I, I, but I promise you, I have watched uh, SA, SA hockey. Uh, even without understanding, because I'm yeah, like yeah. so like South Africa and f for everything. So, sure. so yeah, I've, I've watched some great. I'm I'm sad that the sponsorship deals for hockey didn't always come through. Yeah, I thought uh, Investec should have done more in, yeah. in that regard, and and other companies should yeah, do more for for, sure. for SA hockey. I agree with that. Um, you guys go through a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like you know, sport, it is, it is, it is. And and I, I mean, we're talking about sport now. So like, just for two seconds. My plug is, again, Musi Maimane's presidency, what are you going to do sport-wise? Everybody who plays a national sport. If you, because let's say all our national color, the national colors are proteas. So everyone wears, once you get a protea jersey, whether it's in hockey, boxing, soccer, cricket, there must be a standard salary that everybody gets. Sponsorship or no sponsorship? Once a player gets sponsored or a unit gets, they that's a top up. Mm. Yeah. But like yesterday, I was looking at the SA women's rugby. Those young women are not being paid enough. Yeah. Exactly. They have to do other things. Some you watch them jobs. They, yeah, they have playing. to do yeah. other things. No, we banana banana. Before they won the World Cup, Africa uh, and before they won the African yeah, Cup, fun. those young girls were not being paid well. So you lose talent that way. Yeah. I'm saying there must be a I call it a minimum wage, but sometimes people go as a tw like whatever. Yeah. No, no, no. But there must be a basic package for base everybody. If yeah. you're an athlete, you must know the day you wear your spring or your your springbok or your Proteus blazer, this is the base. Yeah. For sure. Men or women. Yeah. And then once you get endorsement deals, of course, all sportsmen don't earn the same. Yeah. Some people are just more sellable, and some sport is more watchable. Yeah. So I get it. Like no one is gonna go be like, I was just enthralled last night watching Springbok darts. <laughs> you just, you, you, They're going to come for you. you They're going to come for you. <laughs> um, can we edit that out? <laughs> Our biggest supporters are darts players. Eh? Our biggest supporters are darts players. I know, I know. To all the darts supporters out there, I saw, I saw it throw, but like, you know something? <laughs> but it's true because at the end of the day, you've worked yourself into a position of that's been your career. Correct. If it's a segment of your life for what it is, it's still a career though. And it's still something that people make major sacrifices for yeah. to get to where they need to be. I agree. So, Some say I'm SA drinking. So, yeah. SA? Drink but <laughs> Drinking, yeah. That's named after <laughs> so, so do I also get minimum wage? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. get the blade where it's it. <laughs> That's fine. I just want kids. <laughs> the kid's good. The kid's good. Um, yeah. All right.
Uh, Mr. Maimani, thank you for coming on to the show. I hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate it. I loved Very it. Good time. Had a good time. Thank you for the bag and thank you for the wings. No for sure. Thank you for <laughs> inviting us to Parliament. I, yeah, <laughs> it's on. It's on. I just want to say, I won the game. Yeah, you uh, did. Uh, I did appreciate. He did though. He did. Anything you want to say? Nah, it's been great. I think the advice you gave was really good. I think the topics that we covered, uh, you really hit home with a lot of them. So from our side again, thank you very much. Um, yeah, yeah. We'll see you at the end. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and comment below who you want to see next. Whom not even find the boys with delicious walk one was going? That's us. Do you think about me? Do you think about me?